Gump traffic experimental 916 on the Fox is ready to taxi. And I'm going to be taxiing for runway 24 departure again. We were flying this awesome electric airplane across the country to show our customers and suppliers. And so yeah, we're on our way, headed to the Grand Canyon, then Vegas, California, Utah, Florida, back to Vermont. It's going to be epic. Road dog. It has been epic. <laughs> we are rocking and rolling. <laughs> Electric aviation, obviously, is the goal is to lower the barrier to entry to aviation and enable all kinds of new applications of aviation. Just bouncing, you know, little town to little town, showing this plane's real to all these left BOs and airports has been super fun. Everybody's psyched. We're in Rome, New York, here to Jamestown, and we're going to fly to Columbus, Ohio. Crossing the Mississippi River. We are in Missouri. The Continental Divide. It's all coming together. We just landed this thing on a 3,000 fucking foot dry lake bed. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking awesome. All right, I think this is it, Noah. What do you think? All right, so we're going to mark the beginning of the runway here and then make sure that we have the required distance. What do we call it? Eldo. The fact that we've got an aircraft that is well built, is robust, that is able to operate in austere locations is I think a testament to the build quality of the overall machine. I think we scoped out a pretty good distance on this dry lake bed to land Aaliyah on. What a machine. Uh, here, here we are uh, in a dry lake bed in the middle of you know, the, the desert out, outside of Las Vegas. Uh, you know, it's just a pleasure to be able to fly this aircraft and, and demonstrate its amazing qualities, whether you know, you're going into short fields delivering cargo logistics or out in remote areas uh, delivering medicine to, to folks in need. You know, enabling rural access is a key feature of, of this aircraft. And you know, I think we're demonstrating it here today. You can see the aircraft looks great. The condition of the airframe, uh, the wheel pants, the landing gear, the propeller, and uh, we're gonna go out and do it again. And where was the little one we went to? Yeah, too full, arm's length. <laughs> A long ways puts it into perspective like get to vegas then we're going to salt lake hey traffic there uh just west of the i-15 you guys on frequency yeah hey, firm uh we got your visual off our right wing that's a pretty uh, different looking aircraft there what is that thing well, that thing would be called a uh, Beta Technologies CX-300 all-electric conventional takeoff and landing aircraft. That's electric? All-electric aircraft. No kidding. You care if we could come in and take a look and fly with you for a minute? Yeah, clear to rejoin right wing. I got your visual. We uh, departed Vermont a little over a month ago. Never seen anything like this before. Be on the lookout. You're going to see a lot more of them. Hey, why don't you take the lead on the uh, right? Pretty spectacular. You guys live in a pretty special place here. Thank you, love it. Glad you got to come out here and visit. All right, we're going to be uh, departing to the north. We'll see you guys. All right, see you later. Y'all have a fun flight. You too. Take care. These canyons over here are pretty insane.
this morning. It's a real simple aircraft. You know, you've got an electrical system, a fly-by-wire, a flight control system, and a dual redundant electric engine. As you're trying to bring uh, new and novel technology into the national airspace system, we've got to make it super simple and reliable and safe so that we can get something certified, i.e. approved by the FAA, and then produce and, and be able to start delivering it to our customers. And that's the path we're on. Having, you know, just incredible success resonating with our customers and with the FAA. We want the same thing they do, so a super safe, reliable aircraft, keeping it simple. Now we're heading back on our way to Salt Lake City. We are today having this window into the future of transportation. And you're all part of taking a look into seeing what amazing things are coming for our future. Aviation is important to the state of Utah. We're going to start to see aircraft such as this moving around our state and the world will get to experience the opportunities that this will present. I'm just excited for the state of Utah. I'm excited for our partnership with Beta and I think the people of Utah are going to benefit from this. We set out about um, two and a half years ago. We formed a coalition with the governor's office and UDOT and, and with private industry and we said, hey look, there's an opportunity ahead of the Olympics for Utah to lead the nation in advanced air mobility to be put on the map in a whole new way. As we literally scoured the nation, we met with all of the OEMs. We just fell in love with Beta Technologies. There's a lot of people that live outside of the Salt Lake area that want to stay where they live, but work along the Wasatch Front. We're going to be able to help them do that through this aircraft. The idea of electrification of aircraft and the incredible reliability that electric motors can provide is really a testimony to really good engineering, good quality manufacturing, and also will be able to be a good testimony to the public that's out there that this is an aircraft that you can trust. You know, we've got customers that are actually carrying cargo and doing real world logistics missions. You know, we've got a 200 cubic foot volume of cargo behind this bulkhead. Uh, 1,240 pounds of total payload and you know we've got a pretty damn capable aircraft that is low operating costs, low maintenance costs that our cargo uh, logistics customers are super excited about bringing into their network. I love talking to the people at Beta Technologies. They're so open. They're not afraid of sharing. They're proud of, of the aircraft. What we're demonstrating here is how functional this aircraft is. We've got an awesome team of engineers back in Burlington, Vermont that have built a hell of an aircraft. Looks like it's the future and nice to see it. That was a pretty landing and you've got a crowd out here to see you. All right, thanks for uh, <laughs> meeting me again. Yeah, good to see you again. Right now we're on. here getting close to the end of our road trip. Yeah. I met Beta on the road show in Albuquerque, and then we flew to the Grand Canyon, which was very cool. Just for gigs, take your headset off for a sec. Wow. <laughs> that's takeoff. <laughs> takeoff power. <laughs> wow, yeah, you're a kid, no need for noise canceling. So I'm Steve Thorne. I run a YouTube channel called Flight Chops. and I've been lucky to get access to all kinds of different parts of the aviation world and it's been very awesome to learn how to fly this thing. The wind is ripping, but it's okay on the mic. And we'll go ahead and get the plane charged up. Green, so now we're charging, so we'll come back and we'll show you on inside what it looks like. So now all the batteries are connected. We can see currents going in. So this charger is capable of up to 320 kilowatts is what this charger can do. A full charge will take about 45 minutes on this charger. Amazing. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Let's go brief what we're going to do. Sounds great. All right. Perfect. The main goal for today is to get you in the left seat and kind of show you the normal 
uh, normal handling characteristics and qualities of the aircraft. I don't get any feedback from your stick to my stick, so I can't feel what you're doing as I'm teaching you through these landings. It's all verbal coaching, yep. um, and I won't be coming on top to add things. So it's 100% you on the controls until I say that I've <laughs> until got the airplane. Yep. Okay. So as we go up to, I'm honored to have been a little part of this journey. Seeing Beta take this airplane literally across the country really kind of hit home to me that this technology is not a fantasy, it's not a prototype. Like this is practical and it's really happening. Good start there, it should be on. I'm still an old school pilot and I love pistons, but... Now we're ready to fly. That's awesome. <laughs> I also see what's happening here with electric aircraft and I know ultimately at the end of the day, this is practical and it's only gonna get better. And the fact that it's already where it's at is pretty impressive. Highlights for me of being involved with Beta was how much they kind of trusted me to see the whole world and then really immerse myself in it. So there's 45. Yep, beautiful. Just get those out. The fact that they kind of invited me to be this general aviation conduit to see their, their world and the way things work and then inviting me to actually fly it was pretty awesome and it was definitely a highlight to fly over the Grand Canyon in the airplane. Dude. <laughs> but honestly, getting to land it in a gusty crosswind was land. awesome. Beautiful. I just flew the leg from Barnes to Rutland, and this is the last leg now from Rutland back to Burlington. So Noah and Nate are going to fly that leg because they're going to do a formation kind of celebration flight when they get back to base. So it's an honor to be here for the final leg for the arrival of the roadshow final chapter. Coming up at 6, we'll show you footage of that plane arriving and hear about how manufacturing is ramping up here at Beta Technologies. We're now reporting live in South Burlington. And Tower Experimental 916 Lima Fox, flight of four requesting three ship low approach and naval. We're six Lima Fox shot, runway 33, clear to the option. You know, it's pretty amazing. We are able to barnstorm all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast, Vermont to Santa Monica. It takes a lot of grit and determination, just being resourceful as you're on the road without a permanent infrastructure. Here we are 2025, we're building and delivering aircraft to our customers so they can actually go out and accomplish and do real world shit with it.